adoption once, but nobody would take him. He was 19. He had no motivation. His only ambition was to someday have ambition. He knew quite a bit about literature, except he always got William Carlos Williams mixed up with Ford Maddox Ford. <laughs> he was suffering from a condition so unusual. Hell, the Germans don't even have a word for it. Well, he had some unique theories. The only one that really bothered me, though, was when he would compare the Bible to a badly Xerox chain letter. Thus saith the Lord, I have made the earth and created man upon it. I, even my hands, have stretched out the heavens, and all their host have I commanded. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 12. Yeah, that's great, Reverend, but why? Why? I did this. I did that. God seems a bit self-indulgent, you think? I feel another thesis coming on, so why don't you just tell me? Sure you want to know? Please. I've been developing this theory. Mm, this isn't Jesus at his prom again, is it? No, but, but that's the point. I mean, Jesus was just a guy. You know, he's bleeding, he's in pain. But how long does the crucifixion take? An afternoon? A couple days? What about people that take weeks to starve to death? Uh-huh. Why is it such a big deal that Jesus suffered for man, when many men have suffered far more than Jesus ever did? Remember, Jesus is not the only one on a cross. Uh-huh. If you ask me, it's because God is an egomaniac. What happens when we're dead? Well, the most of... You know, the irony is that all our questions will be answered after we die. We spend our whole life trying to figure out the truth. And the only way we'll really find out what it is is to get hit by a bus. And the only comfort that religion offers is that God is driving the bus. How should I know why he did himself in? The guy was obviously touched, though. Anybody could see that. It was the news. The news did him in. He was obsessed by it. I don't know why he'd off himself like that, but I suppose if you're going to do it being blown to bits, it's pretty cool. It's really a shame what happened. Oh, I felt so sorry for the family. I went ahead and refunded their deposit. To understand truth, he said, you have to be truly detached. But to be truly detached, you have to be dead. So, now he's detached. Let's face it, we'd all do it if we had the guts. Jonestown, come on, let's go. Kelso's best music mix right here on Y519. 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 The best music mix in the Chuck Walla Valley. 
Hey, that guy's pretty good. Yeah, let's get some music going here and for all you out there nursing broken hearts. And who isn't? Here's a guy who knows what it's all about. The king of broken hearts doesn't ask much from his friends. He has quite a few of them. They know he will understand. That's just the way it goes. I just, I don't understand. I've given you everything you want, everything you've asked for, and yet you deny me what I want. And I just think that if we're supposed to be a couple, we should be coupled. <laughs> I mean, I've slept with almost everyone I've ever met. But somehow, you're special. I don't want to be special. I want to be like everybody else. Look, you're very nice, Rex. I appreciate you giving me a ride to L.A., even so you live in Phoenix. Listen... It's been three days on the road with you, Margo, and I just don't think I can endure another night of sleeping on the floor. I offered to take a separate room, but you insisted. Besides, we'll be in L.A. soon. No. No, no, I'm uh, going home. I don't even know what I'm going to say to my wife about where I've been. I have had it with you. Rex, sweetie, come on. We're almost there. And who knows, huh? I might even feel better when we finally get to the big city. Huh? No, you won't. You'll ditch me. Rex. No. No, no, forget it. I'm not falling for any more of your tricks. You needed me. I did. Oh, Rex, I do. We've come so far. Wouldn't it be a shame for you? If maybe I were 